Welcome back to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper, the politics lead now. You can tell that from the cool graphics and the jazzy music. The sweet sound of elections pulsing around the country. With midterms a scant eight days away, candidates looking for anything, everything that might give them even just a little bit of an advantage. Polls across the country show key race after key race within the margin of error. Races that will decide control of the U.S. Senate in Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Arkansas, North Carolina, all tightening. New CNN polls breaking right now reveal what is driving voters across the nation. Guess what? It's anger about the direction of the country and the one man not up for re-election, President Obama. CNN Chief National Correspondent John King is standing by at the Magic Wall to give us a closer look at these numbers. John, what are these brand new CNN polls saying about the mood as we head into the midterms? Well, Jake, let's dig deep and let's start with a number that will make some Democrats happy, but it's a bit misleading. In the generic ballot, we asked people, who are you planning to vote for when you vote for Congress eight days from now, Democrat or Republican? It's a statistical tie, Democrats with a slight edge. That'll make Democrats happy because everyone's been saying, right, this is a big Republican year, but don't be misled by that. That's not a horrible number for the Democrats, but as we wait for the 2014 map to fill in, let me show you a 2012 map. This is the House districts across America. You see all that red? That's why Republicans have a majority in the House, and so that's a national number. That doesn't necessarily mean Democrats will do so well out here in red America, where you have a lot of these big Senate races, too. Montana, South Dakota, Colorado, etc. So the terrain is still in Republican favor, even though that's a relatively close number for the Democrats. Suggest there won't be a big swing maybe on the House side. One more number. You mentioned the anger. Look at this heading into election. The election's a week from tomorrow, right? 68 8 percent of the American people say they're very or somewhat angry. What is that? Some aren't happy with the economy. A lot of them are angry at the dysfunction in Washington. Congress does not get high approval ratings either here. And here's another interesting number. 53 percent, Jake, saying they are very or somewhat scared. No question. We've spent the last month talking about what? The ISIS terrorist threat. Americans beheaded overseas, now Ebola. So Americans are scared, angry, a bit anxious heading into Election Day. That's usually not good for the president's party. And if I were incumbent in any party, that would make me a little nervous.